Hey guys, I got a brand new video for you today. Sorry for the vlog style shaky footage, but I'm just shooting on my iPhone right now. But I'm at the Fuji headquarters right now, getting my X-T2 fixed. We got a little bit of an issue. I got those hot pixels showing up again. That was an issue I had back when I did my review back in September or October or whenever that was. It's kind of an issue and I want to shoot more video with the camera, but I can't just because of that stupid hot pixel issue. And so I'm here dropping the camera off. Uh, we'll see how long it takes to get fixed. I told them that I really hope they swapped the sensor in it because pixel remapping doesn't work and that's what they did last time so hopefully this time they will do something more serious with the fix uh, the guy was super friendly and nice and uh, yeah I'll come back to you when the camera's fixed and we'll see what happened so I'm back for some reason, Fuji decided to mail me the camera and not tell me that it was ready. This is the camera, obviously. Uh, what I kind of want to do is look at this work order, though. Okay, let's see what they replaced here. Hot pixel on screen, exchange front, const with sensor. So I'm assuming they replaced whatever the housing is that holds the sensor in, and they replaced the sensor. Blah, blah, blah. So it took them 13 days to fix, so basically two weeks. Probably that's just because the sensor had to come from Japan or something, but uh, I guess we'll see if everything's working. So there's my camera, X-T2. Man, I miss this camera. I've been friggin' shooting with Canon for the last two weeks, and I want to get back in this camera. Actually, looking this camera over, do you notice something? Where did the cover for my sink port go? Oh, come on, guys. Don't let me down like this. It's probably not in the box, and it's probably not in here. They probably just forgot to put it back on. Get this thing out. I'm not too happy about that sink port missing. One way to know if this camera actually is mine is I took the retention spring clip out of the hot shoe here for my Cactus V6 II triggers. Yeah, it's missing. So this is definitely mine. I guess I'll fire this up, put a battery in it, and see what it does. Actually, I changed my mind. I put the grip on it. Moment of truth. No memory card. Well, duh, I don't even have a lens on it. Supposed to be a new sensor. Sorry for how shaky this is, guys. I'm just I'm just shooting with my cell phone here. That looks looks nice and clean. Put a lens on it. This is the 10 to 24. There will be a review coming of this lens soon. I guess what I should really test is video. Shoot some 4K and see how it holds up. So far so good. We're at eight minutes, so basically I've been recording for 21, 22 minutes, and I have no hot pixels yet. So that means it's probably fixed because I couldn't film that long without getting hot pixels in the footage. So it looks like they fixed it. All right, so just recording the footage for about 25 minutes. I don't notice any more hot pixels, so obviously it's fixed. And obviously it was a sensor. And the sensor should have been replaced when I took it in for hot pixels eight months ago. Um, I've just been using the camera the way it is. I want to actually shoot some video with it, and I've been scared to because obviously hot pixels. But uh, it seems to be fixed now. They replaced the sensor. It took them like two and a half weeks, which is a really long time. Uh, my other experience with Fuji has been really fast, actually. Uh, the first time was the X-Pro2. I got the sensor fixed on that. It only took two days, and that made them look awesome. And then when I took this in last time, uh, it was only a week, but obviously it didn't really fix it. So now... It seems fixed. It's missing the front sink port uh, cover, which is not good. So I emailed them. Hopefully they'll send me a new one. And uh, yeah, that's my experience with Fuji support. It's been pretty decent. Uh, my warranty is actually almost up because I bought this in September last year. And maybe that's because I had the first batch. Maybe that's why the sensor had an issue. I don't know. But anyway, everything fixed. I'm happy. Uh, I've been shooting with the 6D Mark II in the meantime, and I can't wait to get back into this. Uh, the 6D Mark II I got from B&H just for review. 
Um, I'm obviously not going to switch back to Canon. A lot of you have been worried and been sending me messages, but don't worry. X-T2, it's a friggin' awesome camera, and I'm stoked to have it back and start shooting with it again. Sorry for the shaky footage. I don't do many vlogs. This is this is on my cell phone. I'm not doing it too often, so don't worry. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. I'll see you in the next one.